In this short screencast, I'd like to demonstrate some of the basic tools that you can use in the free, in the free iPad app, Edu Creations. The first thing to notice is that in the upper left corner, you can select different colors that you can choose to draw with. And after selecting one of those colors, you can begin drawing with that color and it is not going to pause when you do your recording. It's just going to allow you to change those colors on the fly. The other thing to notice is that um, you can add text by clicking on the T up here. Once you've added that text, you can move it wherever you'd like on your project. You can also change the text color and change the text size. Um, we will not, oops, in this project, be actually using this button, which is the photo button to take pictures or to add pictures, but you certainly can do that. And these two buttons are the undo and redo button. And when you have something to undo or redo, those are not grayed out, they are black, and you can choose those to um, get back to wherever you were previously. The X button is going to clear your ink or clear everything in your project. Um, there is not an eraser in EduCreations currently, so the only ways to get things erased are either to undo them or to click the X to clear your ink. After you've got all of your slides set up, and I guess I should say that here in the corner you can advance to go to additional slides, you're going to want to do your recording. And so you're probably going to want to go to your first slide and then press your recording button here to start your recording. After you have completed your recording, in the upper left corner, you're going to click this button, which says Done, and you're going to choose to save your lesson. Be careful, because if you click Start Over, it's not only going to erase your audio, it's going to erase all your slides, and you're going to have to completely begin from a scratch, from a scratch project, from an empty project. It's going to prompt you for a title and a description, and we recommend that you at least put in title information here, and when you click Next, you're going to see a slide giving you choices about who to share it with. And for our project today, we recommend you choose private. It's just going to share that locally, but you also can choose public. When you create an account with EduCreations, it gives you two other choices so that you can choose to share it with your students or with your school. If you'd like to get more information about iPad digital storytelling, you can visit the website storychasers.org, and we'd be glad to provide you more information about the curriculum which we use for iPad digital storytelling, as well as give you information about how you can get one of our workshops scheduled at your school or for your organization. Good luck with digital storytelling on the iPad.